And I must confess that exactly nine days from today, 25 years ago, the 10th of April, 1994, we shocked the world in style when we won the African Nations Cup. As at that time, we didn't know what we were doing. As you see us all here, we are just one big family. We hardly agree on anything then. But as you see these guys here, the moment we put on the jersey, I remember Ucho Okechuku saying, JJ, leave him. As he kick you, you go, come here. I remember times whereby, this brings tears to my eyes, whereby Stephen Keshi's wife will cook African food for us all. And she will bring it and carry it with her car and we'll all start sharing in the hotel. Am I lying, guys? That tells you the love that we had for one another. But as we look back, I am a coach now. And I thank God for everything he's done for us. If you look at the way the football is being played today, fullbacks are asked to attack. We don't have a two number nines anymore. We now have a nine and a half. We're talking about this started in 2008. As at 1994, Daniel Amokachi was not a number nine. He was not in number 10. He played nine and a half. So he was ahead of his time. As of 1994, we had an overlapping left back. Sometimes we used to beg him, Ben. Ah. <laughs> but he will still go and we will beat Ivory Coast. With all due respect. <laughs> As at the time, all the midfielders used to just carry the ball. One small boy from Delta, all he did was fight for the ball, give it to the players to play. And at the time, God blessed us with the best striker this continent has ever seen. I am talking of Baba Rashidi. I will share something that I had between me and him that used to tell me. Shori Sonny, ma down alone. Shut in nursey for me. <laughs> for those who don't understand Yoruba, <laughs> what Rashidi used to say to me was, Sunday, don't listen. Just send the ball in. <laughs> and this man had the most clinical finishing I have ever seen in my sporting career. <laughs> and I've been blessed to play with players like Nzagi, Zidane, and all of them. But none could come close. And then we had one crazy number 10. In as much as I and him have a good relationship today, if I tell you how many times we almost fought on the pitch, JJ pass now. <laughs> but I must confess to you guys, if I had a problem and I was crowded by players, give it to JJ, he will find a solution. We were very complimentary from Dodo Mayana to Baba Rashid. But we could not have achieved anything we did without players like Edema Foludu, without players like Nduka Ogbadi. Because for those who are less than 30 years old, you will not understand this. When we trained at the National Stadium, we had 30,000 watching trainings. Our trainings were like matches. And for that reason, Anybody who was going to wear the jersey on Saturday, you know that if you don't give 
not only will the Lagos fans kick you so hard, but there is somebody waiting on the bench to take that jersey, and good luck to you if you lose it. And let's not forget, we have